Hi, everyone. It's Jen and Jack and Evan from the Thrive at Work team. And we wanted to do a really quick video to show those of you who are wondering how to do remote meetings, um, how to do a planning meeting or a brainstorming meeting using some really basic technology that everyone can access. Um, it's free or very, very cheap. Um, we suggest that you have a conference line of some kind. We're using Zoom right now, but whatever works for you, get everybody on the phone. You need Trello, which we're going to walk through and show you how it works right now. It's a place where everybody can be um, in the same screen and brainstorm together or plan together. And then we recommend a Google Drive or some place where you can store documents that, that's shared so everybody can get access to the, to the same things. Um, so here we go. Evan's going to take us um, through Trello. Trello is a, an app. Um, it also, so you can get it on your desktop um, or laptop, and you can also get it on your phone. Um, it's a very easy platform. I'm not a tech person, and I'm telling you, it's very intuitive once you get the hang of it. It's made up of lists and cards, and Evan will walk us through. So if you're starting a planning meeting or you want to get everybody together to brainstorm, um, you're on a phone call, and then you hop into Trello, which you should be able to see right now, and, and Evan, I'll take it from here. So this is the environment. It's pretty, um, well, it's pretty right now, and uh, we're going to add some things to it. If you have tools like Planner or Asana or anything like that, you, you can basically flow your meeting the uh, very same way. We just prefer to use Trello. Um, so, uh, what we do is we're going to pretend we're having like a two week planning session. You know, we've just become fully remote. We want to kind of sit back and figure out what does the next two weeks look like? Um, instead of us going around on a conference call or on a video call and somebody's taking notes the whole time, we're going to pull this open so that everyone can see it. And you might see some cards show up as my team members type into it. But uh, we like to kind of just start with um, real simply a to-do list. So these are the things that need to be done. We're going to label this list to-do. We're going to label this list doing. We could also consider that in process. These are things that are currently being worked on. And then finally is the done list. And we all like to celebrate doneness. So we pop up our list. And then we'll just kind of start going around the table the virtual table, if you will, asking what are some of the things we need to get done in the next two weeks? We'll prioritize a little bit later, but for now, everyone just click on this link for create another card and we'll pop them in. We always like to suggest that when somebody posts something or they put up a card, they actually say it so that we can kind of generate more ideas that way and we can see and, and recognize what's being put up. So it looks like uh, Jack, you popped up or Jen, you popped up. What do we have here? Yeah, I had some plans, some videos. So I think we talked about three videos uh, to start with. And so we just have to script those out and I think schedule a time. So um, uh, I see uh, Evan now is uh, adding some descriptions. Uh, ideally, anybody could do this and we can also pop up questions. So if Jen or I had a question, we could add that also to the description. And so this day we wanted to make sure we get this done by Friday, so I'll just I lost Jack. Jack, when does this need to get done? What do you think? And we'll say Friday, so we'll give it a due date. Yep, Trello is amazing. You can you can give it due dates. You can also see who's working on what. And since we are planning some videos right now, I'm going to go ahead and move um, the planned videos over to doing. Um, I also popped up things like we need to review our finances, check in with our partners and our clients. Um, so as as we go, we can just begin popping popping up ideas, questions, thoughts. So here we're seeing something visual. Now, if you get in a pinch and not everyone can be on the Zoom call or go to meeting or whatever you're looking at and they can't see the shared screen, the good news about this is you could have them maybe dial in on the phone and you can actually have them in Trello and these cards show up live um, for anyone who's just viewing um, the environment at the same time. I just realized that uh, offer free coaching is something that we actually started so uh, we we're going to move that to the done column the other thing you can notice is that the, the cards move up and down vertically as well and so we could put them in the order in which they're going to be done so the to-do could have 80 cards but we have them in total order so we know which ones go into doing and then which ones go to done 
Yeah. And if you want, you can always add more lists. You could put something on here like big questions. These might be things that we're trying to figure out that we're not sure at this point, like when will this remote stuff have to end, you know, end. Um, so, you know, those might go in there. Um, you might have a, somebody popped up a list here for resources. So that might be, um, you know, a link to this video. If you wanted folks to learn how to work remotely, you could post that there so people have resources. So you can add as many lists as you want. Um, you could change the names of these too. You might have categories. Let's say you're trying to do maybe a little bit of um, project planning or strategic planning and you want to categorize your list by things like operations and sales or um, projects or anything like that, you might want to just kind of brainstorm in that list and then shuffle the cards. They're easy to move and drag up and down and across. And uh, it's really an efficient way to create a visual engaging experience for people on a team when they're trying to do brainstorming or planning. You can create multiple boards. This, this also works across devices. So it looks exactly uh, the same setup on phones, on iPads, on laptops, and so, and so on. And so it's very handy. Again, we're on a call, right? We don't have to be on uh, Zoom or any other video technology. It's the phone and a Trello board, and you're ready to go. And I think right now with Trello, you can get three boards for free, um, and, then, and then there's a small fee per month. But it's a great way um, to get started remotely and a great way to keep your people connected and engaged um, as a team. If you've got questions, reach out to us. Um, you can find us at thriveatworkteam.com, and uh, we're here for you. Uh, you'll also find on our website a, a page that has lots of resources for remote work. All right, good luck. See you soon. Thanks. Bye now.